to do them. There. Greetings and welcome to the Southern Yankee Homestead. I'm changing up the format a little. Uh, what I was doing before was I was trying to post completed projects and unfortunately it takes me a while to complete a project. Uh, it's not because of work and whatnot. Just for those of you that don't know, I am retired Navy and I am disabled so I pretty much work from home doing whatever the day brings. It's one of the reasons why I'm kind of doing the YouTube thing is because I want to show what I'm doing but at the same time working is not necessarily working out for me. Uh, today was gonna be a video about hunting but unfortunately they're in the process right now of clearing the field so I will be doing a hunting video here soon just not today. Uh, today I'm gonna be working on a project that I've been working on for a while and I forgot the tape measure I just realized so I'll be going back for that so I'll keep talking for a little bit anyways but we're in the process of setting up our permanent goat fence hopefully the light isn't that bad I've got the H braces in and I've got the first line of wire hung today I'm gonna go through and put the T posts in to help support the long legs um, Maybe cutting off the post a little too in the process, but we'll see what, see if I can get to that or not. Uh, one of the things I'm also going to be doing, let me set you up here. Probably ought to use my GoPro app, but I'm not going to. One of the things I'm going to be doing is I found this at Tractor Supply. It's for doing the uh, wire around T-posts for securing a fence to it. Don't know if it works. Not a sponsored video. I bought this out of my, with my own money, out of my own pocket. So any review that I give is going to be unsolicited. And it's going to be basically just me telling you how I think it is. Whether I'm right or not, some people might have better luck with it than others. But. We'll be getting to that in a minute. Like I said, uh, I'm just kind of walking and talking right now because I'm gathering the tools and stuff necessary to do what we're going to do today. Uh, yeah, I got several projects that are in the works right now. This one is the most important because we're trying to get the goats out of the backyard. Uh, if you saw some of the well, I don't know if we've posted those videos or not. Um, but as you saw from some of the videos, we have the goats running right now behind the house in the little forested area. And again, sorry about the noise. Neighbors are being a little loud. <laughs> um, yeah, one of the things... Whoops, <laughs> one of the things that we're going to be doing is the um, fence. Uh, another thing right now, we're in the middle of turkey season here in Virginia. So that we're in the fall gobbler season. Why is that so hard to say? Fall gobbler season. So I am going to have to get back to you. <laughs> Phone's ringing. Bye. All right. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, we we're talking about hunting and whatnot, but one of the things that um, I used to do after I retired, I did landscaping and construction. Um, I don't do as much anymore because it's just too much backbreaking labor, but I still pick up jobs every now and then. And that was actually the uh, York County or the city of Yorktown calling me back about a uh, property that I'm going to be maybe doing. I'm trying to get a copy of the drainage plan right now. It's a complicated process and the homeowner is banging her head against the wall because of the contractor. 
So that's neither here nor there, but explains what's going on and why I had to hang up on y'all. Um, as far as uh, the homestead goes, one of the things that we do uh, to supplement some of our protein is wild game. Uh, you've seen, what, I think one of our first videos was actually the corned bear. Uh, tomorrow, I think I'm going to be doing bear chops in the smoker. And we have venison, but what I want to do this year, I actually want to have some wild turkey for Thanksgiving. Not the liquid wild turkey, actual wild turkey. Uh, hopefully, I'm allowed two, so I'm going to try to get two this year. That way I got one for Thanksgiving, one for Christmas. But I got to get out hunting for that. Just not feeling it today. It's like 82, 83 degrees out. Too hot for hunting, in my opinion. But it's neither here nor there. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to set up T posts to help support this fence. Because right now it's nice and stiff, but the goats could push it over fairly easy. I took a measurement the other day and I figured it's going to be about every eight feet is going to be the most even. I could do six feet, but then I'd have one that's like three feet and whatnot. So to get it as even as possible, we're going to go every eight feet and put a post in. And that's why I needed the big tape measure.
right, let's try this clip bender. So I'm gonna have you on close up for a second here. And then we're going to switch out and go to a time lapse. There we go. So in theory, should be able to Yeah, I don't know if I'm using it right or not. I don't particularly care for that. So I'll go back to my old fencing pliers, see if we can tighten this up a little. Sorry about that. That was a uh, telemarketer. So let's try it down. Yeah, I'm not impressed with this tool. This clip binder, I know what they show. What they show is not, not really working for me. Let me insert a bit between dense wire. Just want you to insert here. So when I insert here and try to do it, it just spins out. Uh, okay, I'll try it once more. Let me finish this one up the way I know how. All right, one more again. So. Like that. Insert here. Pull down and push. Oh, 
insert and pull. Hmm. I guess that's a good start. I don't like how tight it is though. It's still too loose for me. Oh, son of a gun, everyone's calling today.
there that's it for now see a uh, staying focused okay good I wound it up tight on all of them one of the reasons why I did that is because we're going to be using this for our goats this is our permanent goat fence if I didn't mention it before so with that I don't want loose clips and stuff falling off so I wrapped it all the way around it to make it as tight as possible but this is oh, okay. come on straighten up How are you sideways the displays reading sideways hope it isn't filming sideways is it nope it's filming straight up okay it's screwy for right now for whatever reason anyhow but that is all I'm gonna work on today as I said earlier I'm changing up the format by that I'm going to try to get two videos a week out instead of once every other month so I'm not gonna be doing going project start to finish you'll be able to see somewhat real time what it takes I say somewhat because if I did real time no one would watch the videos trust me <laughs> I've got about two hours invested in messing with this fence right now and I'll probably have it condensed down to 10 to 15 minute video approximately but that's all for today Hope to see you again soon, and have a great day. Bye.